Oh, welcome back to Benci Silam Nading. In this episode, I want to show you uh, a simple setup that you can do now with Geometry Nodes um, involving 3D Voxel. So in the past, I think you have seen this many, many times uh, using Animation Nodes or even Sphere Talk or maybe in other 3D package using MoGraph in Cinema 4D, etc. So this kind of effects is involving uh, point cloud, some kind of point clouds and sometimes people call it 3d voxel and if you google search for 3d voxel you will see there's also minecraft and lego and those sort of things yeah it's basically a way you can turn 3d model into a 3d voxel voxelated and we can do it quite easily now because with uh, blender 3.4 Alpha, we have this geometry nodes distribute points in volume, and you can read this at the developer website. So basically, the ability to just scatter points inside a volume. Okay, it's gonna, it's really powerful and have a read. Uh, but I'm gonna show it to you anyway from scratch. The way I think of this node. Okay, so if I delete everything, if I have uh, the monkey head. Let's save this very quickly. So this is Voxel basic. We've, we have seen this so many times, but I just want to show it to you again. So if we do like a remesh, by default, we get this, right? And then we can make it smaller. So we are remeshing Suzanne with this Voxel size. We can, of course, turn this into block. And with block, we have something that's looking like a Lego already or Minecraft, sort of. Um, but this is only on the surface, if you look at the wireframe. And if we jump into geometry nodes before the remesh and we use transform. And then we are doing like rotations. You can see kind of the effects of voxelizations in real time that's kind of cool but we want to do it we want to be able to do it uh, just using geometry nodes so let's reset everything so we have Susan head if we use the volume actually we have we do have mesh to volume and we can use volume to mesh and ba ba based from this understanding, we also have this voxel amount and yeah density. We have this fill volume that's kind of filling the volume, so everything is becoming a volume. Um, at the moment, it's probably not very clear unless we switch to distribute points on in volume okay so this is new this is the new nodes and we can increase the density okay hopefully things starting to make sense we we are basically just scattering points inside the volume we can we can we can control the number of voxel but it doesn't it doesn't change much in this case the density also okay the density might increase the, num the number but there's also size but for now we are really uh, just want to deal with this distribute points in volume and in terms of fossilizations we want to use the grid okay with the grid now it's becoming clear we can uh, kind of make a like a blocks like a 3d blocks to to fill up the volume of this Susan head. If we instance this now with the cube or a box, yeah, now it's uh, it makes more sense with the grid. Okay, I'm gonna set this to zero point one. You can see here. So if we actually use a value 0 0.1, if we plug this to the size of the cube and the size of the spacing of the grid, 
we have some kind of ability to voxelize Suzanne. So you can replace this with a Lego, like a single Lego block. It's gonna look like Lego. Yeah. So this is this is the basic. Be careful with this number. If you go too far, Blender might crash. It depends on your computer memory. In my case, 0 0.1 or 0 0.05 still works kind of fine. And this guy is actually filling up the whole volume. Unless, okay, unless if you turn this off, it's only filling up the surface. Okay, so there's some kind of thickness going on here. See, this is, you can control the interior volume of the Susan head and you can kind of see that okay so basically you want perhaps like a little bit of value here and have a little bit of volume inside of Suzanne just enough or you just fill up the whole volume so you, you have all like a 3d cubes filling up Suzanne okay um, and I can turn on cavity. The shadow shadow is okay, but in if you are using Mac, shadow is actually really slow. In this case, just turn it off. It's faster if you are using cycles. With EV, you can turn on ambient occlusions, and if you are in this mode, you can control the distance. And we have occlusion shadow in real time, so that's cool. Okay, so what can we do next? While save as. You can start playing around with the size or translations even. So we have all this scale instance, rotate instance, and translate instances. The most obvious one you want to try, perhaps translate instances, because that's uh, kind of handy if you have noise, texture, and you, you plug this into the translations okay all the the usual stuff that you will do like for basic mo mo graph motion graph there's probably gonna be a lot of geometry nodes set up now that enable you to do this kind of thing like if you want to have the points kind of building up so that's uh, that should be that should be possible generally if you if you delete you can also actually you can, you can delete geometry for example and based on the index <laughs> compare it's less than Yeah, probably. Um, but don't delete on the instance. I made a mistake. I, I have to delete this guy over here. So this type of effects, you know, like building up based on the index or based on the based on the position of the points, things like that. Okay. That's if you want to use this delete geometry. Otherwise, you can you can play around with this anyway. Instead of using index, use the position of the points and delete it based on the position. Or let's get back to our noise. Okay, you can you can kind of give a noise to the translations. So that's kind of the offset of the original instance. Okay, that's cool. You can randomize the rotations. You can also use scale, scale, instance. And you can control. So let's say, plug this into the seconds. I think that's kind of neat effect. This is basic, basic mo graph. Every 3D package doing it slightly differently. 
but anyway you can have it inside blender so it's a uh, it's pretty cool it's uh, open source and free uh, so translate and scale scale I think with scale we can use proximity with another objects okay so this one this node is powerful but every time I every time someone using it the first time maybe it's not as clear let's say I have an icosphere okay we have we have this icosphere okay with a bunch of points and we can actually use that icosphere points and the position of our original mesh of this guy and then using it to control the scale okay based on the distance of the points of the icosphere into the all this this guy let's use map range plug this into the distance we're gonna reverse and use these as a scale okay so we have invisible icosphere but if we based on the proximity of those icosphere points we can translate it and control the size of our instance so now if we play back you can see we have we can have this kind of effects it's kind of nice effects of it's revealing Suzanne and then disappear so it's yeah you can of course instead of using icosphere inside geometry nodes you can have your own objects that you can bring in using objects in get objects oh I forgot okay we if we have an icosphere okay basic icosphere we have Suzanne being instance oh yeah object info we can use relative the same thing yeah okay yeah you can have these effects so if you don't you don't want to render this guy yeah you can make it non renderable just like an object and you can have these effects there's there's many ways to do this in the past actually the dynamic dynamic paint I think it still works in blender can actually do this okay so that's basically the effects that I want to show you and this is becoming easy thanks again for this additional nodes a couple of developer works on this uh, you can have a look anyway it's, it's a way we can dis distribute Ian Ahmed working on this as well so, yeah, so you can make you can easily make like a reveal 3d voxel reveal for 3d objects these days uh, if you have a smartphone like iPhone you can do like a 3d scanning you can try scanning objects or maybe like scan your room and then make this kind of effects of revealing 3d objects using the voxel so this monkey head of course the voxel is just a single single color if you have 3d objects if you scan a 3d objects it's gonna have uh, the texture you can use that texture or the point cloud information data and then make this kind of reveal revealing effects hmm all right so I think that's pretty much it it's noise there's a lot of things that we can do really with this basic effects but powerful okay this is if I want to reduce the strings so now basically we have just this fox cell and <clears throat> go back go back to our cube can make this smaller yeah there you go okay so hopefully you find this useful thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time thank you bye